Hello everyone and as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be talking about Turtles All The Way Down by John Green. When a billionaire goes missing in her neighbourhood, Aza and her best friend Daisy decide that they are going to be the ones to solve the mystery and Aza has connections to this billionaire's family in the form of his son Davis who she used to be really good friends with and she basically gets back in touch with him in the hopes that he will know something that will help them solve this mystery and they can win the hefty reward sum that is on offer. John Green has been criticised a lot in the past for his depiction of mental health in his books. Um, the term Manic Pixie Dream Girl is often applied to a lot of his characters, but this is the first book of his that feels like it really tries to kind of steer away from that. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that Aza, the protagonist, has OCD and John Green also has OCD, so he was able to incorporate a lot of his own feelings and experiences into this particular character's narrative. And it's one of the first ones of his that I read where they felt like a real character. I found with a lot of the mental illness in his other books that you have a lot of characters that are like, oh everything sucks, we're all gonna die someday so nothing really matters. Whereas in this book you have Aza who is very much a character who is kind of the embodiment of I am living with this condition, it really really sucks and there is nothing I can do about it but I'm doing my best to live my life. And Aza performs a lot of rituals throughout the story that she honestly believes will save her life and she has what she calls thought spirals if for whatever reason she forgets to do these rituals and it's so isolating and claustrophobic at times that it's you can really get into this character's head and they just felt like such a real person and overall this is considerably better than his other books in terms of just the writing. It felt a lot more mature and well written and well thought out compared to some of his other books and it's such a small thing to appreciate but this book has the odd slips of bad language in it which makes a lot of sense because teenagers and young adults swear but in his other books he would use things like mother fudger rather than swearing so it was a small small addition but it just made the whole story feel a bit more real. One thing I forgot to mention about Aza and her OCD is that she's seeing a therapist throughout this book and that's becoming a more common theme throughout young adult books that deal with mental illness. It's you are seeing someone who is living with um, a particular thing but they are also actively trying to get help for it as well. I'm going to start off with the things I didn't like by being really petty. This book is called Turtles All The Way Down. There are no turtles on the cover. Turtles make two appearances in the book, one literally and one figuratively. And underneath this dust jacket, you have a little embossed thing on the front. I don't think you can, you can not see that at all. But it's not a turtle. It's this weird lizard thing that plays a part in the story so feel very underwhelmed by the selling of turtles in this book. The initial plot point of the billionaire's disappearance falls to the wayside very quickly. This is very much a more character driven book than it is a plot driven book. It's more about those kind of lull periods where two characters are just talking to each other and getting to know more about each other's lives through little bits of conversation and different kinds of interaction. Which I will admit threw me off quite a lot and I think is what kind of diminished my enjoyment is that I was expecting this to be more of a sort of detective story. Unfortunately, as in most books that deal with a character that has a mental illness, the other characters reactions to it were very predictable so I feel like a lot of the emphasis and points that were trying to be made didn't really have the impact that they should have done because I've just read the same sort of thing um, over and over again and when you're dealing with something that is so crippling 
it's very easy to focus on yourself rather than think about other people. But you did have one character who was willing to sit with Aza and learn more about what she's going through, how her mind works, how her thought spirals work and try to understand what she's going through and help her while also taking a step back and not overwhelming her. Having taken a while since finishing this book to really think about it, um, I don't think it's that great overall. To be honest, um, I'm not a massive, massive John Green fan. I have disliked more of his books than I have liked them. But I was really interested to read this one as it's been quite a number of years since his previous one. And there are plenty of good things like I've said in this video. But overall I just felt a bit disappointed, you know. It's not likely that we're going to enjoy every single book that an author puts out and there are a lot of people who really, really liked this one. I just wasn't one of them. Have you read Tales All The Way Down? What did you think about it? Let me know as always in the comments below and I'll be back with a new video soon. Bye!